continues. Rafael Ortega leads off. Second year with the Cubs, he takes a fastball for a strike. Ortega with his fifth different team. We saw him primarily with Miami. We are having a few uh, video and audio glitches. Keith thought that meant that he wasn't allowed to talk. <laughs> He looks, he looks for that opening at all times. <laughs> On the all-star team, and Austin Riley isn't, but that's a whole other story. Taking outside a changeup, and it's two and two. One player that they think should go. has a good changeup by Carrasco to strike out Ortega for the end of his Cubs tenure, if it comes, before the trading deadline. This is a Cubs team that's going nowhere this year. They're 20. So in that atmosphere, when you're a guy like Wilson Contreras, who's going to be a free agent after this year, you wait third wild card team a game ahead of the Phillies. Good fastball by Carrasco coming in on Contreras and it's moving to a different direction. They're kind of in the same position the Phillies were after some of their great years 2007 on but they never tore down that they kept those. Well they they had a confluence of events right they had a lot of guys become free agents all at once yeah. is when the Cubs were bad and nobody came. Yeah. Good breaking ball by Carrasco and he strikes out Contreras off tonight. He had three balls hit his legs yesterday including one he fouled off his knee. It was a double having a career year and gotten him his first all star bid takes a fastball at the knees for a strike and it's 0 and 2. Half a switch hitter who has been far more productive as a right hand batter than he has been from this. There's 259 from this side. And he breaks his bat on the left side. Escobar, a long run to get it, and no play against the speed of half. Now with the shift on 10. Now our first look at Seiya Suzuki. He's been nine years with the Hiroshima Carp. Lifetime in all pro. Yeah, all pro. There you go. <laughs> Slices one foul. He's got power. He's got. It's a good call. I wonder if he'd reconsider and maybe think about a time. One and two to Suzuki and he gets him to chase a slider for strike three three strikeouts in the opening inning for Carl Carlos Carrasco stake to a four nothing lead as he faces the Cubs in the bottom of the second Nico Horner late love as well and he's been their hottest hitter as well and he drills one into center field a base hit tracked by Nimmo and Horner aboard with a leadoff single Let's try to fight back Patrick Wisdom their leading home run hitter. 17 home runs, 45 driven in this year. A very pick, which is right in his eyes. Wisdom pops one a mile high, back and out of play, and it's one and one. Well, the old stadium without the early in night games. Good slider in for a strike, and it's one and two to Wisdom. Another slider, this one non competitive against the Angels in a start in June. And wisdom hits it hard foul oh. into the end of the Cubs dugout. No fences in front. Foul tip and not held by Mazika. So if you were Hack Wilson or Jimmy Fox, it worked just fine. Yes. <laughs> I mean, those guys out. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming to wisdom, not running, and it's outside ball four. And so the Cubs have something working in the second. They sit by Horner, walk to wisdom, and they have the first two men on. A couple of times in this ballpark. It's Alfonso Rivas, and he tries to bunt his way on, and it's a foul ball. And Rivas, a rookie, hitting a 235, and he swings and misses at the changeup, and it's 0 and 2. Cubs have really at 221. And Rivas goes down swinging on three pitches. Good change up by Carrasco to get him. Last start against Miami because that's the pitch that he's been getting hurt on. There's Gomes taking a strike. The OPS against Carrasco's fastball this year. Veteran catcher played for Washington and Oakland last year. Now bouncing to the Cubs and he fouls off the slider from Carrasco. And it's eager born in Brazil. Hmm. Change up low and in one and two. Went to the University of Tennessee and drafted by Toronto. See the onto his changeup, gone to his slider. 
Uses the slider, gets the ground ball. Mm. Lindor gets the out at second. And the turn by Guarme, and they got him. Oh, wow. So the timing was perfect tonight with the 805 Syracuse Mets and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. <laughs> yes, that is their name, the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. Anyway, that's grounded on the right side. And Yorme makes the play on Ortega two out. Anyway, it went just about as well as the. It would appear as though his final tune up will not actually be in a game. It'll have to be in some kind of simulated oh, okay. game. Ready, then presumably he'd come back and pitch that first time around the rotation after the. Contreras struck out his first time up. That's pulled down to third. Another ground ball for Carrasco. He gets three in the inning for a one, two, three bottom of the. As they play their first game at Wrigley Field, he had half leads off in the home fourth inning against Carlos Carrasco. Half as one of the. Offit had an ill-defined role early in his career. Then he had it comfortable and left. Last year got off to a horrible start. This year having an all-star. And half foul tips it and it's held by Mazika. It's a good slider by Carras. The base hit for Horner, and Horner is two for two. Bobbled by Marte, but he gets it back in and holds Horner to a single. We apologize. Horner at first with two down. Here's Patrick Wisdom. Fortunately, he didn't miss anything. I've heard rumors. <laughs> and Wisdom takes the fastball on the corner, and it's one and one. That has struggled in so many ways. Yeah, that slider in for a strike, and it's one and two to Wisdom. And they've been outscored by more than two runs per game. Check swing, and he held it in time, two and two. So, um, you know, getting off to a fast start in this ball. Wind was blowing. Right. Just stay in here. Another half swing, and again he stopped it in time, three and two. But you're going to find out a bit. He would be in charge. Corner will run. 3 2 coming to Wisdom, and he flies one out to right. Marte giving ground, but he's got plenty of room. And that retires the side. So Carrasco. Alfonso Rivas leads off. Is that pretty much no. jive with your experience? Carrasco pitch in front of him really means something because of that split fingered pitch. If he sees that pitch now, it's in his brain for the next day, that's good stuff, Steve. Now Gary I will say this because you asked the question yesterday does the he leaves the game after the first couple of innings make sure to get back to the hotel get a good night's rest so that he's good to go for tomorrow so that's the only change game is a little longer because of the Mets and their offense Rivas pulls one down to Alonzo catches it at the midsection and Carrasco covers one out so <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> somebody might have found it John Gomes takes a strike. Well, Javi got plenty of the first four and a third. Walked one, struck out six. In the air along the left field line, hooking toward the stands and foul. 0 and 2 to go. And Gomes lines one at left center for a base hit. McNeil cuts it off deep and it'll hold Gomes to a single. So there's the fourth hit against Carrasco. Tom up. 
half swing. He foul tips it on the slider. Nothing in one. Morella is playing one spin, 145. When he signed at 16. <laughs> Twenty three extra bit. a lot of energy which you need when you're having a you know, this kind of a year you need somebody to Carrasco for a rare time behind in the count tonight and mm. walks Morrell so the eight and nine hitters get aboard a single by Gomes will walk won their first game after making the change ground ball to short could be two the step by Lindor the throw to first double play the other because the Royals have ten leads off against Carlos Carrasco who's held the Cubs scoreless through five, and he starts off Contreras with a try to discourage the fans from doing the Cup Snake. Why? Because it's, it's no fun, police. Oh, he's he's not banning the Cup Snake. Yeah. He is get the Cup Snake down. Do you realize I'm going to Northwestern? I, I mean, <laughs> just concentrating on, of course, informs the creation of the Cup Snake. Yeah, yes. By the, Contreras. Cups. <laughs> He's in his cups. <laughs> 2 2 to Contreras. On the ground, Guillaume slides over to his left, bobbles, recovers, gets the out. One out. After giving up a home run in the ninth, got the save. Ian Happ swings and misses at a curveball from Carrasco. And comes back with a changeup, swung and missed, and it's 0 2. By Carrasco so far. 1.83 ERA, so they're on another great streak. You are made perfectly positioned in the shift to throw out Happ, and there are two out. It's, uh, it's growing as we speak. It's a lot. <laughs> Four hits. And it's off the corner to Suzuki, 2 and 0. His first two at bats. Fastball there, and he fouled it back. Just behind him tonight. Hit sharply under the glove of Alonzo, and Suzuki is safe. Well, Pete had the glove there. The old glove first baseman to make. Here's Nico Horner, who's already two for two. I mean, he takes curveball for a strike. Horner on base, his manager got ejected. <laughs> Thinking that Carrasco had balked from the clubhouse. Or maybe from that little room you were talking about. <laughs> Escobar to second for the force play. That retires the side. Carrasco.